Hello everyone, welcome to Krako video series. In this video, we are going to discuss the slot wise difficulty analysis of the CAT 2022 examination. So as we all know that the CAT 2022 response sheets were released one week back, uh, we tried to come up with a section wise analysis across all the three slots. So this analysis is based on uh, the response sheets we received from the students. So we have received over 21,000 uh, responses and this includes uh, around 6,700 students from the slot 1 and over 7,000 students from the slot 2 and 7,500 students from the slot 3. So based on all these responses, now let us uh, first look at the average scores uh, of all the three sections across the three slots. So firstly, if we take a look at the slot 1, BRC section, the average score uh, of the students is around 12, 12 to 13. And if we compare it with uh, other two slots, the verbal score in the average verbal score in slot 1 is lesser. So the slot 1 VRC is toughest when compared to the other two slots. Now if you look at the LRDI section, the average score is 8.66. So the slot 1 LRDI is on the tougher side. And the quant section average score is 14.7. So the quant section is the easiest uh, when compared to the other two slots. Now if we look at slot 2, the scores in LRDI, uh, the average scores in LRDI are the highest when uh, among all the three slots. So the slot one, L, uh, the slot two LRDI is uh, the easiest among all the three slots. And the slot two quant section is the toughest among all the three slots, with the average score being 11.42. Similarly, the VRC section is also on the tougher side, with the average scores uh, being 13.83. Whereas in slot three, the verbal section uh, is considered to be the easiest. With, uh, with an average score of 20.29, the LRDI is the toughest section, an average score of 8.44 and quant is also on the tougher side with an average score of 13.04. Now let us go a bit deeper and uh, look at each section. So first let's take a look at the VRC section. So this graph depicts the scores of uh, the VRC section of the students. Uh, again as mentioned is based on the responses we received. Uh, this purple line represents so, uh, slot 3, the green line is slot 1 and as discussed in previous slide, the slot 3 VRC section is the easiest among all the three slots. So, uh, if we can see this is clearly shown in this graph, this purple line which represents slot 3 VRC is on the higher side for uh, scores above 12. So, these are the various scores in VRC ranging from the negative scores uh, to the highest score of uh, 72. The so slot 3 students are scoring uh, higher marks in VRC in each of these score ranges and similarly if we look at uh, these score ranges on the left that is towards the left side of 12 the lesser number of uh, students in the slot 3 VRC are scoring less than 12 and as the VRC section of the other slots are slightly on the tougher side uh, more students of the slot 1 and slot 2 are scoring lesser marks on this side. So as the VRC difficulty level for the other two slots that is the slot 1 and 2 is on the tougher side more number uh, of students are scoring less scores that is a score of uh, you know less than 12 or 17. Similarly when it comes to the higher range uh, the tougher slot students are scoring lesser and the slot 3 students are scoring higher and this table shows the marks uh, the various scores in VRC versus the, uh, the percentage of students uh, scoring less than this particular score. So for example, if we take a look at uh, the sc a score of 20 in slot 1, 75% of the students uh, have scored less than 20. Similarly, in slot 2, 72% scored less than 20 and slot 3, 50 less than 50% of the students scored less than uh, 20. The number is less in slot 3 because the paper was slightly easier when compared to the other two slots. Uh, similarly, you can take a look at these other scores of 30, 40, 50. The percentage of students scoring less than 40 marks in slot 1 is 99.45%. In slot 2 is 98.28 and in slot 3 is 94.14. Also, if you look at a score of less than 0, in slot 1, 7.89% of the uh, percent of the students are scoring less than 0, 6.68% in slot 2 and 2.41 students in slot 3. Alright, now uh, let's move on to the LRDA section. So, these are the various scores in LRDA, the least to the highest. This red line over here on the top represents slot 2. Uh, as you know, the slot 2 LRDI was the easiest among all the three slots. So more students scored on the higher side. If we look at the right side of the graph especially, so more number of students scored more than 15 marks. Uh, and uh, if we look at the left side of this graph, 
lesser number of students from slot 2 uh, scored these lesser uh, lesser number of marks and if you look at the slot 3 the the purple line represents slot 3 so the LRDA section of the slot 3 was the toughest so the number of students on this higher range is also lesser when compared to the other two slots similarly if we look at the lower score ranges uh, slot 1 and 3 are uh, quite similar so as slot 1 and 3 are on the tougher side uh, this graph clearly explains the difficulty level of the section in those slots. Now this is the table which shows the various scores in LRDI. So if we take a look at the score of 20 in LRDI, the number of students uh, with less than 20 marks in slot 3 is 90%. This is again, this is because the LRDI section was the toughest in slot 3. In slot 2, 78%, slot 1, 75% of the students less than 20 marks. Similarly, these are the other scores. Uh, so, for example, if we take, uh, if you look at 40, 99.45 students, 45% students scoring less than 40, slot 1, 99.43% students scoring less than 40 in slot 2, and 99.96% in slot 3. Alright, now finally, let's move on to the quant section. As discussed earlier in the first slide, the quant section in the slot 1 was uh, the easiest among the three slots. So the green line represents the quant section. So if we look at the graph in this score range, a more number of students are scoring higher and this red line represents slot 2. Uh, so slot 2 quant was the toughest among all three sections. So lesser number of students are scoring in this range. And the purple line uh, which is slot 3 is somewhere in between the slot 1 and 2. And if we look at this side of the graph, Again, more number of people from slot 2 are in the lesser range. So if we take a look at uh, these, so more number of students scoring lesser marks and less number of students from slot 3 are scoring uh, in this range. And again, the slot 1 is somewhere in between the slot 1 and 3. If you look at this side of the graph. So this again uh, clearly explains the difficulty level of all the three slots uh, with respect to the quant section. Now this table shows the percentage of students scoring less than these scores across the three slots. So as slot 2 quants was the toughest, 79.84 uh, students are scoring less than 20. Similarly, 68% of the students scoring less than 20 in slot 1 and 76% uh, in slot 3. And if you look at the score of 50, around 99.54% of the students uh, are scoring less than 50 in slot 1, 19.87 in slot 2 and 99.73% less than 50 in slot 3. And these are the scores, uh, these are the percentage uh, of students scoring less than 0 in quant uh, across all these slots. Uh, also for a score of overall raw score of 0, let's say a student scored, the combined score of a student in all these, in all three sections is 0, then his or her uh, percentile would be around something around 45 percentile. So this is the section wise analysis, that is the VRC LRDI and the quant section. Also if you haven't yet uploaded your response sheets, please visit our website, our CAT score calculator. Uh, you can upload your response sheet, you can get your score and also your uh, estimated percentile. You can also take a look at CAT toppers list, that is a list of all the students, a list of the scores of all the students who have uploaded their response sheets. And uh, so this is, so these are the number of responses which we have received so far, 21,000 plus. So you can check this page for the scores, the raw scores versus the scale scores also. Also, let's say your score, your CAT score was uh, not very good, not as you expected. Uh, so don't worry about it much because CAT exam is over. Now it's time to focus on the other exam. So you have many other exams which you can focus on, get good marks and also get into uh, good B schools. So if you're preparing for other entrance exams such as SNAP and IAFT, you can check out the mocks we are offering. We are offering 10 SNAP mocks for rupees 499 and 5 IAFT mocks for rupees 299. The links for the same are provided in the description box below. You can check them out. Also, if you're preparing for the ZAT examination, do check out the crash course that we are offering. So this is an excellent crash course and all the videos in the crash course are made by Sili ma'am. And she has been topping the ZAT exam continuously for the past two years with rank one. The link to the crash course is provided in the description box below. You can visit the link and check out the crash course schedule. You can also watch free demo videos here. And this is the entire ZAT 2023 schedule. You just have to stick to the schedule and if you rigorously stick to it, you can crack the ZAT exam. So this is the detailed day by schedule for ZAT and as you scroll down through the page, you can also find the list of GK videos along with static GK and also the current affairs. You can also download the PDFs for the same over the link here. And also do check out our student reviews. So these are uh, some of our students who have scored very well in the ZAT last year. 
and many of them have landed in XLRI Jamshedpur. So XLRI Jamshedpur is a very good institute. It's one of the top MBA institutes in the country. So if you can prepare well for ZAT, because XLRI is one of uh, those institutes which uh, gives very high weightage to your ZAT scores. So if you manage to get a very good score in ZAT, you can definitely get a call from XLRI and there are good chances of converting it if you also perform well in the interview. Also, apart from this, if you have any other queries regarding the MBA entrance exams such as CAD, ZAT, SNAP, CMAT, IFT, TISNET, etc., you can visit our student discussion forum Adda. So, the link for the same is provided in the description box below. So, you can visit that link and post your query and, and get them resolved by the experts. You'll also be notified whenever your query is resolved. So, thank you so much, guys, and all the best.